Hi friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots and today I am making these Christmas wine bags and I'm going to show you how to use Flock HTV. If you'd like to make it, stick around. As always, please like this video so I know you're here crafting with me. Now, I have to tell you, I've told all my crafting friends, I'm in love with Flock HTV because it's so full of depth and it's kind of fun to play with. So I'm going to start out with these Amazon wine bags I bought. I'll put the link below. I'm going to use my iPad and a Cricut Joy to see if it can cut it, but you can use any machine. I'm going to be using this little teeny tiny mat. And then this is the Flock HTV. There's a dull side, a shiny side. The shiny side has the carrier sheet built in, but if you want to use a Teflon sheet, you can. I'm using this wool pressing mat and a 9x9 Cricut press. And so I'm going to set my temperature at 315 and the time can be anywhere between 10 and 12 seconds. So I'm cutting it at 11. On my iPad, I'm going to open up the Cricut app and choose a new project. Now this is different for everybody, but on the app, it's down on the left, I'm gonna hit images. If you're on desktop, you can hit images or upload and choose your uh, SVG. I have an entire collection of Christmas wine SVGs if you need one. We're gonna go down to ownership on the iPad and we're going to go to uploaded. So I've already uploaded these designs. I'm gonna scroll down to the snow is falling, wine is calling, and then at the very bottom, I'm going to click insert. And that will put it right into my canvas here. And before I do anything, I'm going to size it and I'm going to put it right under six inches to fit my wine bag with still giving me the time for the or room for the tag. And because I didn't unlock it, uh, it resized the width. So I did group and weld it. And then this, it may look different for you. I'm on a joy, which means I have the option for smart materials or matte. Now, if you see this, you have to click where it says mirror off because we have to turn the mirroring on. This is HTV, heat transfer vinyl, so it needs to be mirrored when we cut. All right, so once we're here, we can know our <laughs> design is backwards. We want to hit next. It's going to ask us to select our material because flock isn't an option. I always choose glitter iron on. <laughs> and then I'm just going to cut using a paper cutter my HTV. So I'm going to place the shiny side down always. So you see the really dull and the really shiny. It's going to cut that dull side. So we're just going to use um, the edge of our grid here. Just place it right down. Now you can use a brayer or you can use a scraper. I like to use my fingers. <laughs> I know you can transfer oils, but I've never had a problem. So I'm going to load my mat. It's going to just sort of make sure it's aligned. You can see it right here. This is going to depend on which machine you're using. But basically, we're, we're going to hit go, whether you're hitting go on your machine button or you're hitting go in the app. It took about three minutes for the little joy to cut this, which I thought was pretty impressive. So. While that's cutting, I'm just going to repair my blank here. Like I mentioned, I got these canvas wine bags on Amazon. I'm going to flatten them and then move the tassels away so my press can just iron the front and the back. And then once my design is un uh, done, I'm going to unload it, pops it right out. And then I'm going to put my sheet back on to protect, flip the entire thing over, and then peel the mat away from my HTB. And that way it doesn't round it or warp it. All right, so you can see here the cuts. You can see it on this uh, shiny side. It's really hard to see on the dull side, but they're there. This is weeding. If you're new to cutting machines, weeding just means you're removing that which you do not want on your piece. So I'm removing all of the outside edge here. And you can see, took me two minutes to weed this all in, meaning the inside of the letters, the outside, everything. It does have some stretch like regular HTV, unlike like hollow um, vinyl doesn't have any stretch. And I was very impressed because the joy did great. There were no miscuts. There were nothing I had to like cut off or anything. It did the insides of these teeny tiny little snowflakes and the little, um, ends and stuff with the little flourishes. I was very impressed with this. So after I weeded this, I'm just going to then size it. So if you're brand new, you can crease the 
carrier sheet. I'm just checking here to see, making sure all of my weeding is done, but you can crease it in the middle of the design just at the very top. So only push together the very top and that will help you align everything. I like to get a ruler out. Sometimes I do well, sometimes I don't, uh, but I like to get a ruler out, measure the whole piece, make sure I have everything in place. And then the next step is optional. So there is heat transfer tape, which allows you to sort of place your item and then not worry about it. I like to use it, um, especially on bigger pieces like this. So we're not done though. So I'm just gonna let you know, you can warm up this way, which I'm gonna do here is just flip this down and warm up my piece and then flip it back up and it's in the right position, right? I'm just gonna make sure everything's back flat and then put my tape on. Conversely, um, I'll show you another way, but all we're gonna do is do it exactly per the instructions on the packet of HTV. So if you have a lot of pieces on the next example I'm gonna show you, you can flip it over as long as it's non thick material and warm up your piece that way. You do have to let this stuff cool because you'll burn your little fingers. <laughs> but once it's cool, look how easy. Now, if you have a piece like an S or a little bit of a you know flourish that doesn't press and starts to come up, you can actually push this carrier sheet back down and repress the entire design. But look at this, oh, it's so fluffy. I'm gonna put a little wine bottle in here so you can see it. Oh. Hello. So it, I love it because it's so dimensional and you know, it's fun to play with, but I really like this for simple designs like this. So now I'm going to show you if you're a beginner and you want to do multiple colors, you're going to turn off and turn on using the layers panel. You can do this on desktop or the iOS versions of design space. So for this one, I'm going to turn off the holly and I'm just going to use the text. I'm going to group it. I'm going to weld it in place. And then I'm going to, you can see I welded it. And then when I hit make, it's the exact same thing. So we're going to mirror our design. There you go. Turning on our mirror. We're going to load up our material choosing uh, glitter iron on as well. And then we're just going to load that, let it cut. And again, I'm gonna prep my material while that's cutting or prep my blank while that's cutting, just ironing it, making it even. So once that is done, you're gonna go back, after you remove that, you're gonna go back into design space, turn off the text layer, which is the little eye, and then turn on whatever accents. I have Holly here. Now there's two ways you can do this. If you hit next right here, choose your um, thing. You see how it put them right together? I personally do it like this, but if you don't want to, go back, identify all of it, meaning select it all, hit group, and weld. You see that? Now it's the entire distance apart is if you actually had the text still in it. And that helps new people to this process sort of figure out where to place everything. You're gonna do the same thing you did before, load your material, cut it, and there you go. And then now I'm gonna just cut off this big honk right here, because I'm gonna use that again, and weed my design. And you can see this stuff is so, it's very similar to HTV in that it's really easy to weed. You can see, I mean, this whole thing came off in one piece. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do the insides here, not bore you with that, and then I'm gonna go over to my color. So again, really easy, and use your, I don't know, it's a pick, but use your dental pick looking thing to take out anything that is small detail. And then I like to cut these apart and position them separately. Again, whatever you feel comfortable doing, you can weld the whole thing together, cut it one you know, color, cut it four colors, it doesn't matter but I'm going to do the same thing. And again, because all of these pieces are separate, I'm just gonna flip it over. This is a pretty thin canvas. I'm gonna warm it up that way and then press it per the instructions. And then as we did before, we're just going to remove our carrier sheet and look at this. It's so fuzzy, I love it. <laughs> but when you get up close, you can really see the dimension, right? And these are just in my craft room and they have a lot of depth to them. You can get the Christmas wine SVGs below and also below in the comments, let me know what you think. Thanks for being here. Please like and subscribe for more crafty fun.